And what a great show so far, Jodie, eh? It is. We're having fun and I hope you're having fun out there. Now, Thank we're you. going to meet a lovely girl from Melbourne, Lara Jassara, who was one of last year's finalists in Australian Idol. We're going yes. to find out what she's been doing and what she's going to be doing. And so I look forward to that. And also yes. her new song. Her new song is... Uh, Oh, yes, we love that song. <laughs> it is. It's, uh, she's done the remix of the Umberto Tozzi's uh, famous song, Ti Amo. Excellent. Yes. So let's, with Steph C, let's go and meet Lara. Yes. She's already achieved things that most performers can only dream about. Reaching the top ten of Australian Idol in 2005 and performing in front of 20,000 people at the Sydney Opera House. Now she's returned with a brand new single, her debut single, a remake of one of Italy's all-time classic hits, the track Ti Amo, the artist... She is Laura Gisara. Laura, how are you? Good, thank you. Thank you for having me. Music-wise, how do I start from you? Where did you get into the career? Uh, when I was about five years old, I started to play piano. And um, then I started singing lessons about 11 and continued just from then on, just doing music all throughout high school and in uni finishing off a Bachelor of Music and pretty much, yeah, so from a young age it was always in the blood. Being of an Italian background, how important is family and Italian heritage to you? It is very important. I have a beautiful family. Um, they're very supportive. I have one sister, that's all, um, but uh, mum and dad. But yeah, they're very important to me. And what about seeing Australia from for I'm viewers? Melbourne based, but um, yeah, in terms of Italian background, father's from Sicily. And mum's Abrut says so. They say my beauty's from the Abrut says, and the fire in me is from the uh, Sicilian part. You just released your debut single, Ti Amo, originally done by Umberto Tozzi back in 1977. It was a massive hit back in those days. Um, what inspired you to release it as your debut single? Yeah, it was a massive hit in 77. I did a demo version of it last year before Idol, just before, and um, I wanted to actually do it on the show when it was contestant's choice, but unfortunately I got evicted before <laughs> the uh, week came up. So, and, and then after the show, I sort of played it to a few people in the, in, in the industry that I had met through the show and so forth, and they loved it, and they said, look, you know, you just need a team behind you, and this could do really well. You've also made a video clip for it. Um, how did you have that go? Yeah, that was heaps of fun. We did. We shot that back in April, May this year. We um, the concept of the film clip was pretty much um, I'm a performer in a in a, in a stage show, and um, the main event is the first premiere night, and I have this big dance routine with this guy and. He's supposed to be in love with me, but then he falls in love with one of the other, with the uh, the coach, or pretty, like the, the other main dancer, and it's all very, very girly and all very uh, lovey-dovey. But it was heaps of fun, heaps of fun. Film clips are awesome to do. Well, the song was a lovey-dovey song, so obviously you made a bit of made a bit of fun out of it as it was. Yeah, but you know, it's, the funny thing is, people think Tiam was a, like a love song that you would play at weddings and so forth. They don't, they actually, I don't think many people actually read the context of the lyrics. It's actually about a break, it's a breakup. He leaves her, you know, for somebody else and it's how could you end it this way? And sometimes just because Tiamo means I love you, they get a bit confused. So it's a breakup song, it's not a marriage song. Well, I've got to tell you, I've heard it at weddings, played as a love yeah, song. How? I've got no idea. The lyrics are T Amo, God, how I love you so. My heart just won't let go. Day after day, I'm still holding on, even though you're gone. How could you end it this way <laughs> after the love that we've made? So, like, I don't know why you'd play that at a wedding. Mate, I do not know him myself. But um, <laughs> with Italian music, do you listen to Italian music yourself? Uh, look, I try to as much as I can, you know. Obviously, with everything that we do, there's only so much you can listen to. But, yeah, like, you know, there's a fair bit of um, Italian music that I like. Like, I've... I quite enjoy watching the uh, Sanremo Festival every year. It's really good to see what That's they great. have. Any favourite artists on the Italian music scene? Um, I like Laura Pausini. Um, I like Eros. Any future plans to release an album? As soon as I get back to Melbourne, I want to get back. We're going straight into the studio. Um, I, well, I'm actually working on some tracks here in Sydney, working on the second single straight away. And, um, yeah, definitely, hopefully, um, some strong plans for an album. Do you write your own music? I do write my own music. I've been writing my own stuff since I was about 16. Did a lot of co-writing when I was younger. And, um, yeah, continued today, definitely. I like to uh, see myself as a true musician writing and singing my own stuff. What is planned for your future? 
get married and have kids. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Career wise, <laughs> music wise, yeah. Yeah, no, definitely. Um, so next single album, I really would love to get overseas. I really want to get get over to Europe. I'm looking maybe to go into a dance direction after this. So, and I know dance is very big in Europe and, and so forth. So that's what my future plans are looking like at the moment. Any messages for aspiring singers out there? Definitely, definitely. Um, if, you, if you're a young singer out there and you really want to get out there, just follow your dreams. Always believe in yourself and go for gold, pretty much. Laura, thanks for joining us today in this cold, wet, windy, noisy Sydney. <laughs> I'm not sure you're used to it, though. Yeah, well, I am used to it. Melbourne is very similar to this every day and I actually like coming up to Sydney because it's not like this, but uh, oh well, kind of everything. There you go. Laura Chisara releasing Ti Amo. Get out and check it out, guys. Thanks, Lara. No.